Hello everyone, welcome to this last session on alphabet borders and today we will be working on the alphabet I. Yeah, I basically a straight line. Yeah, so there are so many things that you can go about doing with an I. So let us try and create something unique, unique or something different with this I today and uh, hope you're liking the series till now and today will be the last session since i have been working only on vowel sounds in this series so let's get started right away and this is the project on which we are transferring all the borders that we have learned already right so today let us uh, start with i so basically i'll be working around two straight lines right not going into uh, small i big i and all that so <coughs> Basically, I'll work around two straight lines here, right? And then add one gorgeous kind of shape, one from this side and one from that side. And then what I'm going to do is just add a moon inside, like this, yeah, simple. So that is what I am going to do. Again moving on to the second. So the first step is to draw the double line and then alternate it. So here the hump was down. So next one the hump will be up. I will try and touch the first one. But don't struggle, struggle too hard. That's okay. And then add a moon inside. Yeah, again moving on to the third one. So this time the hump will be up. So I'm going to start from here and add a loop or a printer at the end. Again go like this and add a moon inside. Right, simple to draw, basically playing around with the S shape and the two sticks of the eye. So nice little interesting arrangement and looks a nice pattern, yeah. Continuing in the same fashion alternating hums the S shape or the gorgeous shape whatever you can relate it to very common shape used in the entangle yeah so that's one so now we have spaces in between up to us what do we want to do with it right so you can either ink make small triangles here so that it gives a more fuller look complete look so you can add dashes of ink here you can also add a triangle here you can always touch both these things get them closer so that they touch each other so it will look a little different yeah so let us now shade this and see so how do we shade it let us add graphite here first and then we'll see if we need to do anything else so adding on both sides of the moon again you can aura the moon also there are spaces inside I have not added any auras I have just ink the moon that's it yeah and probably some on both sides would be a nice idea yeah so let's blend so slowly blend these two without covering the entire space make sure there is a 
I'm sorry, white space in between. Yeah. And then we can blend both sides. Yeah, that's about it. Slight touch of shade adds a lot of get up to this arrangement. Yeah. So let us transfer it. So this is our project on which we were working. So we have very few sections left here. So two of these and two of these I'm going to use now. Right. So let us use this section. So I'm going to now add these eye shapes. This would be hidden. Again, next one, again, next one. And a hidden one, yeah. And next is the hums. Yeah. So done with that, I'm going to leave it here and we shall shade it later, get back to it later. Right. So moving on to our next. So again, I'm going to be using that same two lines of the eye and try and create something else right so let us now pick up the heart shape right so I'm going to add a nice heart on both sides again add that aura inside and leave it here right again go to the next Add a nice heart shape, add another inside. This space I'm going to add lines like we used in this project, also called the hybrid, right? So you can always add lines here also. Again, moving on to the third. Moving on to the fourth, fifth, and the last one. Add the same shape inside. Add hybrid in these sections which are bigger. Yeah, and then probably ink these little sections 
or you can add orbs anything you feel like right so done with that inking now you can also ink one part or you can add something else I would like to ink one of the section like this you can also alternate it if you want so all throughout the series my endeavor has been to be you know playing with simple strokes using the shape using different arrangement but the basic stroke should be simple as in zentangle using simple shapes so that you know you can draw it easily right so i'm going to leave it here and then move to shading so let us add some shading along the line And then you can also add some shade here on the hybrid where lines are intersecting yeah and then let us just blend so again principle is same you have to leave a highlight So simple strokes and you can see how beautiful those dividing lines add to the look of the tangle. Yeah. Actually using that divided line to create beautiful patterns around them. Yeah. So that's with heart. So let, let us now transfer it to our project. So I'm going to use this section now. This one. Yeah, so they are smaller so let us just add two or three so one line here one heart shape here two and a hidden one here yeah and then the hybrid you can always add a triangle a fragment anything it's basically a triangular shape so you can add anything else so just play around explore more this is just an idea as I keep saying you can always make it your own and try something else adding something else yeah so it would be nice so these inking actually turn the center stem into an eye yeah and then you can ink one side yeah and we are done yeah so moving on to our third tangle so again we are going to be playing with the center stem let's see uh, probably we'll play again with the S shape and make two hearts at the same time yeah so what I'm going to do here is so 
start with the printum like shape here and then come down and do the same thing here so that's an S do the same thing on the other side also yeah so basically you have to go the other way like this and then come down like this yeah simple so basically you are making two hearts as you start combining these so again going to start like this join it with the other one come down join it with the lower one print them again same exercise on the other side come down right so s shape and print them is all that we are drawing here the two center stem again yeah and then the other side so while I'm drawing this what is working inside my mind is to make these shapes perfect yeah that is the heart shape that's the only thing that is working in my mind so again going to next again starting touching the other one coming down again rolling it in yeah again coming down rolling it in touching the other one coming down rolling it in coming down yeah so I'll continue like this so almost finishing here nice curvy shape there's also a pattern like this by the name ibex in Zentangle which is drawn in the same fashion yeah right so now the in between spaces up to us what do we want to do so now there are spaces left in between up to us what do we want to do right so you can either leave it like that or you can just add small little embellishments and they will add to the look like I am adding a triangle shape on both sides here yeah so it is now yours and then you can play around the way you want we have basically created an outline right and then again you can rotate so you have spaces here also so up to you what do you want to do right so you can add something here or probably we'll add a diamond here like this yeah so the spaces get used and it looks more fuller but this is again matter of your own choice you can keep it the way it was these are just small little enhancements that you can do and which are optional that's it so let us now shade it on both sides it would be a good idea to shade it on both sides okay there is one small space that you can again ink these small spaces in between can be comfortably inked we 
it will always add give it a more complete look yeah That's about it. I'm now going to add some graphite at the top. And then probably a touch at bottom. And just the way we do for any border, just blend it. Bring it towards the center but don't cover the center, leave a highlight So let us now transfer it to our project. So this is almost done. So we have two little sections here. So let us use one of them. So I'm going to add these double lines and then start with my spiral. The shape again start from the other side, come down, make the heart shape curl up again again the double line again start with the spiral come down curl up again start with the spiral on the other side come down curl up again the third one And the fourth one, probably a hidden one. Yeah. And what we did was added some cones or sharp peaks here. And then ink the bottom. Small little spaces here and there and also in this space here since we have borders throughout yeah and uh, what else did we do anything else here oh that's it a small embellishment we did like this yeah that's about it right so now moving on to our last one so this one we will keep it simple I think this one you would have been very familiar with just playing with some half moon kind of shapes I'm going to add half moon on both sides yeah leave a small highlight in the rest basically you can call it a crescent moon tangliation add an aura and then add something around the aura you can leave it here also looks nice but you can it would be better to add something around the aura I'm just going to add some U shapes here And then going to add, convert it into orbs like this. Yeah. 
yeah so that's one way you can use the center stem of i again as i told you you can always use the outside aura for different things so let's try different things yeah so again add an aura and then try adding something else something like an eek i'm sorry echoism smaller version something like this probably it will be better to use your o1 here but i'm just giving an idea yeah looks decked up looks nice again let's try something else So let's add some plain lines probably or duda small spaces so take it easy something like this Or let's see if we can do something else. So anything, just continue with that same pattern for the border. I'm just trying out new things here. So what else? You can always add print terms. small little spirals yeah let's see if we can do something else some fescues or aha something the way we draw for the pattern a line with a dot at the end something like fescue yeah so so many things you can do there's so many whole lot of patterns that you can use here this is just to give you some idea so you can deck up your moon in so many different ways just add the pattern tag something like tag so i'll just draw things like these petal shapes all around and add a small dot inside just like we have for tag Yeah. This add some something triangle or probably I don't know, just an aura, one more aura and then add something in between the aura. There's so many things that you can do. Yeah. So add one more aura add a highlight in between yeah just make it your own try out this arrangement and then try different things yeah 
you haven't tried triangle let's add triangles around and see what happens yeah not bad you can add small little dots yeah so i'll leave it here this is just an idea what all can you do you can also keep it simple and plain we didn't do that yeah so just keep it like this that's one option too yeah so depending on what have you put inside you can always shade it the way you want to i'm just going to add a general shading here on top and at the bottom so so many ways to go about so just added some graphite on both sides right generally the way we shade our borders yeah so that's it let us transfer pick up just one of the option and transfer it here the simple moon shape right so just going to add these moons on both sides and then add an aura and then do another one here add a moon and add an aura i showed you how you can play around yeah so just to fill up small little spaces you can always add something in between just orying the shape nothing else that's it and we are done right so let us now shade our four patterns for today so the two that we drew here the beginning and the ends and then on both sides of the line so you don't need complex patterns actually a mix of shapes and shading is all that you need right so done with this one the other side the hearts on both sides of the line So just blend and leave a highlight. Yeah, that's about it, right? So the two here, just going to just 
there is not much space here so we'll just touch and move not too much yeah and finally this one so we can add a center line probably and darken one half something different yeah that's it right so now we have small little spaces left so what I'm going to do is ink it and probably add some dots so the spaces I'm talking about is these two ends and the small little space let us just ink it Or you can add something else also I picked up my O8 I'm just going to quickly fill up this space so we are done with our tangling and shading I'm just working on this project just giving it finishing touches and complete it Right, so I've inked this section and I'm going to ink these two sections also. Add a small little aura, thin aura. And just ink these two sections. So I have inked this section and these two sections, right? Now one small exercise that I'm going to do on this piece is wherever the lines are changing their direction, I'm going to add some watercolor right I'm going to basically darken the intersections right so starting from here again these two are intersections I'm going to add some watercolor here again here there is an intersection so I'm going to add some watercolor here again here there is an intersection basically trying to highlight my intersections a little more right so we have already shaded but the intersections have somehow they have been lost in the tangling right so because there is so much of tangling here so I'm just adding a little of you know highlight the places where the lines are going under each other that's it that's what I'm doing here and I'm doing that with my grey watercolour pencil so that it is dark enough because other things are pretty dark yeah so just following that sequence and highlighting that zigzag which is formed due to the way the grid is drawn that's about it right so just use your brush pen and uh, I'm just going to yeah use my brush pen and just gently smudge the watercolor yeah without blending too much So let it dry so I have already blended most of it so let it just dry and we have just highlighted places where lines are intersecting yeah so give it two minutes to dry up so we are done with that exercise and this is how our piece looks like after adding that small little darkness to the crossings yeah so I little added little dots with my jerry load at these black points so this is what it is our border series and you can either mount it and frame it 
as it is or you can mount it with a border yeah so this is how you can increase its size so i have i had another border from my previous series on uh, tangle borders so this is a border that i did in that series you can always put it inside a already made up border and then mount it and then frame it so it looks nice either ways yeah so that was the project and that was our series uh, this is a wrap up so we'll meet again i'm going to be running a series on the string special as i mentioned earlier where i'll be doing the kala and the alhambra and the kodobra a few <laughs> unique strings islamic stars and we'll enjoy some strings but again that series would be against membership so you might want to consider taking membership right so till then have a good time stay safe enjoy your holidays bye bye